Kaboom! Hello and welcome to a very special live stream. We're very, very excited to have you here this evening. It's a world premiere, premiere. Yes, what we're about to do has never been attempted before. This is as experimental as it gets. I've no idea through the course of this video if it's going to work, not work, if it's going to be awesome, if it's going to be the opposite. I don't know, but we're here, we're live, we're about to find out in a very short space of time, but right now we're going to run the titles. And we're back in the room. Well, a very, very warm welcome to you all, wherever you are. We're going to be doing lots of shout outs as this broadcast goes on. But let me give you a massive warm welcome to everybody who's watching us on YouTube. That's the full four camera high definition experience. And welcome just below to all our friends over on Instagram. You guys get one camera angle. If you would like to go and see all of it in glorious high definition, head over to the link in my bio and click on live painting. We hope you can join us there too. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, put it all aside because for the next hour or so, we are going to provide you with something that I hope will be truly groundbreaking, awe-inspiring and utterly jaw-dropping. And that's the plan, as I've said already, and will probably numerous times throughout the evening, this is experimental. We don't think this has ever been attempted before, but I'm hoping to create two works of art for you this evening. There's only ever been one attempt at this, and that's those that you can see on the wall over there. In fact, one of them has got a hole in the middle. We're going to go and explain why and have a look at that in just a moment. So <laughs> now you are prepared. I hope you're sat comfortably, whether it's on a mobile, a tablet, a PC, a laptop, or a giant screen TV. Things are about to get awesome. Right then, corner cam is a good one to go. Let's do PTZ. There we go. We're just making sure you can see us on all of the cameras here. Fab, you less pan us down, would you, buddy? So what goes down there? I'm going to explain what this box of tricks is in just a few moments. But I'm going to come back over here now and let's do the overhead. And overhead's looking good. Okay, yes, this is the machine we're going to be using tonight, and I'm going to explain all about it in about 30 seconds' time. And let's go for Rome Cam. There you go. There we go. Fabulous. Let's go for walkies with Rome Cam. Now, I explained earlier on, about a minute ago, what these two were doing on the wall. You can just about probably see those Instagram. I hope you can. Yeah, these were the first experiments to test whether it would work. Well, these are the halos. And I've had to cut a hole in the middle of this one uh, to actually line up where I need to place the spin machine for the first of two paintings. Now, whilst we're talking about that, folks, let me just introduce you to canvas number one. Canvas number one. I base coated this on Friday of last week, so it's had plenty of time to dry. We've been doing an awful lot of preparation for tonight's broadcast, so I do hope you can give us props for that. Uh, this is the second canvas over here, which is covered at the moment by some anti-static foam. That's to stop the splashing. So you're going to have to wait for that one. Oh yeah, because there's something special happening to that. But we are starting with this one first, folks. And we are starting with, and I'm just going to get my friends off Instagram because I want to show everybody this. This is the Suarez Spinomatic. Ooh. Ooh. Let's, oh, let's get Instagram. <laughs> Sorry. What's just happened there? The phone's just gone completely mad. Ah, there we go. The Spinomatic. Here we go. I'm going to switch it actually physically on. If you've not seen this before, there we go. It does work. Hallelujah. Uh, there's my remote control. The Spinomatic. Conceived, built, and tested by AD, because he's a genius. And three three hours ago, we had a gearbox failure, so it was all in pieces. <laughs> so that was a bit stressful. But this is a standalone, zero wires, remote control, spin table, with a very small footprint. 
And the reason for that is, is so that we can do these halos on a small scale as well as a big scale. We've done experiments, but tonight, folks, this is it. We're doing it live. We do not know how this is going to work out, but I guarantee you this. It's going to be exciting. We want to get you involved in the chat. We want to get your feedback, whether it's Instagram or YouTube. Please get involved. We, oh, there we go. There's Instagram. <laughs> we absolutely love it, folks. When you're part of this, you're part of the family now. If you're watching this, even on Catch Up, thank you very much. This is what's going to be happening this evening. And for the very first canvas, I am going to be doing, well, hopefully, fingers crossed, opposing arcs. Now, never tried that before. As you can see, the only two experiments exist. Uh, on the floor, uh, on the wall, actually, behind me. Uh, let's just point you guys there so you can see what's going on, Insta. Um, yeah, so I've literally no, no way of knowing which way this is going to go, but I've selected my colours. And for the first time this evening, folks, we are going for light colours on a dark canvas. And no prizes for guessing. This beautiful aqua and gold that you see partly covered up over there is going to be the second painting. And that's the one you really need to stick around for, because if things go completely wrong now, I, in my head, am going to be learning very, very, very quickly. Probably not telling you. <laughs> and then when we wheel that one into the centre, then hopefully I'm going to get that one right. So this is it. This is life on the cutting edge, folks. This is as experimental as it gets. I'm <laughs> very excited and horrendously nervous. But you know what? Sometimes you've got to stop thinking and just get on with it. And that's what we're going to do now. We'll get the first lot of paint on. I'm going to show you what's going on. We're going to get it spinning. Actually, we're going to get it rotating, actually. Let's give everybody a look. Right. It, it, it's, it's working. It is actually working. It's going round, folks. And I did that without walking up to it and pressing the switch. I think that's mighty impressive. So, still, let's just move you guys over there just so you can see a little bit more. My, my gimbal is playing up, so I apologize. But there we go. That's pretty good. So, we can see this offset over onto the canvas as I'm pointing at it. Okay, so this is going to create, I hope, an arc. It's also going to ship paint across onto the outside of the canvas, which is why the sheet is there. It's to catch it so I can scoop it all up at the end, drag this one off and bring the other one into play. That's the plan. Oh, and he's added handles as well. Maybe he's put handles on it so I'll be able to move this onto the second canvas. There's a lot of logistics we've had to figure out in the last 10 days folks i can assure you both in terms of engineering and movement and base coats and trying to gauge where the paint's going to land and that's really quite the crucial thing here we've got to try and work out where the paint's going to go anyway enough about that uh, shall we come on the uh, come on the um air then buddy shall we get some paint on yes let's, let's uh yes. Hello, there, everybody. there he is there he is look i, I am here behind yeah no we uh the gearbox decided that I, I've i tried two different gearboxes with this, a slightly faster one, and it didn't work. I've got a third <laughs> gear, uh, a third motor with a, an inline gearbox, hopefully on its way. Um, but I think it's slow boat from Accrington Stanley at the moment. Uh, but the gearbox, I thought I might be able to change the faceplate to work with something. Took the gearbox apart. When I put it back together again, I missed a tiny little brass bush. And... We decided just to test it on the table before we started about three hours ago and it stopped working. So both me and Ed nearly fell on the floor and I went, right, I've got to take the gearbox apart. So I'd taken the gearbox completely apart, put this little bush back in the right place and now it's working. So it's time for Ed to get some paint on it. Okay. I oh, thank you, mate, for that explanation. That's brilliant. Right, folks, we're going to get some paint on. We're going to get, get these early stages done. We're going to have a little chat give everybody a shout out and see what your comments are but of course we want to comment on something so let's comment on what the painting's going to look like and the first i'm going to put on the first color is going to be orange so first time tonight now i could always put more on can't i i can't take it off so let's let's start fairly steady <laughs> which camera are we on dude okay i'll keep out of the way then Right, let's get the spinomatic up and running. We need to get some speed going because we need to send this off. Here we go, folks. There's no going back now. This is it. It's going to start and make its way out. Here we go. 
There's the first lines. We've actually got it. We've got it. Right, okay, that's good. That's good. I'm happy with that. Oh, the first one's on. I right? blink and you'll miss it. <laughs> the first lot of oranges on now. I've got to try and look at several things at once. I've got to look at the shapes we've already got. Look, no more is going to come off around the edges. That's brilliant. I'm happy to keep those strands. They look fantastic. Now, as I come down the speed, of course, it's going to pull the tinier drops in towards the center. So actually, we've got, look what we've just done in one spin. Two halos. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right. Let's drop the spin rate down. So hello, Bob. Bob. Hey, Bob. How are you doing? Uh, great to see you on the stream asking uh, what is the maximum RPM on the machine? It is actually 100 for this motor. Uh, we've ordered a 250 RPM motor, uh, but to be fair, we're, we're trying to keep the, the, uh, the, the volume of paint fairly close into the footprint of the table. Let's bring all the right, that all the way back down to zero because it's pretty much stopped. Now, if I'm clever. Yes, I stopped the orange away from the actual canvas. Well, look. Thank you, Bob. That's a very, very good question. We've got the first sp spun paint on. Oh, I'm pleased with that. It's working. Now, imagine what that's going to look like when we do go on the other side, okay? So, my next colour. And what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to do a circle. So I'm going to spin this very carefully, and we're going to do a line of paint rather than just a blob. Um, so let's get that spinning. Oh, I love the stringy look, says the Rita. <laughs> we, thank you, Rita. Right, let's get that down a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can build some tension here, buddy. Uh, are we on PCZ, are we? Okay. No, 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 that's fine. No, absolutely fine, because you'll be able to see this going on now. Right, okay, here we go. Have you got the shot there, buddy? Now, might take a moment, so let's let's get the yellow on. Oh, no, where, do I have to beat there? No, that's it, yeah, I'm getting it spun up. I'm getting it spun up. Come on, Spinomatic. Up we go. Right, so that's going to start to work its way out. Is it coming off already? 64%, so we're at 64 RPM. It's just starting little flex coming off. All right, so let's get it let's get it spun up. Now I'm trying to see where it's going to be, what it's going to look like. It's getting quite interesting. It's just starting to come to the edges. Yeah, we are. We're really hitting out in the distance. I like that. Well, that's quite unexpected. Yes, I've got a rip. I've got a halo this way. Right, let's rope. Let's bring it down. Let's work that back in. The beauty of this, folks, is I can bring the rotational speed down, and then I can bring the halos closer. This is very interesting. So let's bring that down. I'm also playing with things like paint volumes, consistencies, thickness, that kind of thing. So there are, are a lot. Uh, are we on PTZ, are we, buddy, or overhead? Yeah, that's fine. There are a lot of factors to take into consideration, but also some very interesting ones that you can play about with. So let's have a drop more paint on there. Let's get that thrown off. It doesn't look like it's rotating very quick, but it's quite interesting as you move up closer to it. Right. Yeah, so you can see there, can't you, where, yeah, let's get out of the way there, where that, that secondary halo is, that's really quite interesting. Now, what happens if I bring that down a bit? Can I do it? From, yes, I can do it from behind it. So it's reading the remote control from behind the machine. That's quite handy to have. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot. Right, I think, folks, we should go in with some red. Who's up for a drop of red? Should we do it, mate? Should we get some red on? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Nothing is impossible. No, what are you waiting for? Do it. Just do it. Yes, you can. Right, okay. So, uh, that's the yellow. Now then, let's uh, bring that speed down a little bit. We're going to get a, another ring on of red. I think that'd be quite nice to sort of pierce through the centre. 
All right, now remember paint, well, there's a volume of paint on there, the paint is gonna keep coming off. And of course, we're adding to it all the time. Now, for the physics-minded amongst you, you'll also know that it's gonna to react to whatever paint is already on there. So we've got all of these dynamics playing out at once. And we are, this is it, folks, we are experimenting. There is no user manual for this. Okay, just got enough go, time. Go, I threw that in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, here we go, folks. Next spin, let's get the next colour on. I'm already starting to stick. That's going to be fun. Here we go. Now, where's the red going? Let's have a look at the red. Oh, no, right, let's spin it. Let's spin it. Come on, Ed, come on. Let's fill up that void in the centre. It's starting already to... Yes, yes, I can see it in the centre. Now, they're just dots at the moment, so I'm tempted to go with some of these, some more of the strings. I think the strings could be quite interesting, but let's just build those up. So I quite like that. Look, we are getting some in the centre. Now, that rotation, what are we on? 71. Must remember 70 or 71. Okay, so that's quite interesting. So we're starting to build that up. This is what it is, folks. It's, um, it's very, very interesting to actually build these kind of layers up as we go along i think it needs a little bit more string right now so the next color is going to be a stringy one let's just let the red do what it is but you can see you can see already folks can't you look how much that is starting to to build the the the, the red and just in those droplets i tell you what while that's spinning let me grab the roam cam instagram i'm going to do the same for you guys in a moment yeah let's let's give you a look so there it is from the outset but look Look what's happening here. We're building that red line up, look. And we're still building it up as that volume of paint lands on the canvas. You can see probably more clearly around this side. But yes, 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 yes. Now we've got a definite belt or band of red appearing, like this kind of interference pattern. So could, maybe if I went to 65, I could get a line in kind of between the strings and the red. What do you think? So I need to get it about there, don't I? So that's the challenge. That is the challenge. Very nice, though. Right, we could probably be a little bit more advan advan adventurous with the yellow as well. So, uh, learning as we go, folks. Learning as we go. Remember, I'm going to be doing one the opposite side as well. But I want to get some lime green. I think we've got to be up for a drop of lime green, haven't we? So, if I can do this... Uh, yeah, thank you, Bob. Yeah, the uh, speed control is a very big advantage. You're right. Uh, Robert, uh, great question. Will I vary the thickness of the paint? Yeah, absolutely. Now, I've deliberately gone for a series of colours where I know that the consistencies are slightly different. So uh, we should start to get some quite interesting effects. So, buddy, I'm going to do another line of lime from this side now. And then we'll see if I can hit the line between the orange and the red, shall we? So, Miss Prissy, does the spinomatic reverse direction? Well, uh, no, it's just a single single direction for its rotation. Um, I mean, it shouldn't really matter which which uh, which way around we go with it. Uh, we, we could probably reverse the poles, to be honest. Right, where is that lime green going? Come on, come on. Is it is it hitting? I think it might be. I just probably haven't put enough on. But that's okay. So I've gone, what did I go to? 64, from 71 to 64. So it should bring the line inwards a little bit. I don't think there's enough on there. It's uh, it's a thicker paint. We're going to put some white on after this. Let's let's get it a drop more lime on. I don't just simply don't think there's enough on there. And it's quite thick. No, oh, it's stringing. It's stringing because it's a thicker paint. So yes, Robert. Uh, that's actually all right. It is kind of hitting between the orange yes it is you can just see that maybe down a couple of clicks right 64 let's try 61 let's bring it inbound just a little bit now oh it's all starting to unfold now now interestingly let's move you in insta so you can see this a little bit better interestingly you know that lime green because it's a slightly thicker consistency it is starting to it, the shapes are a little bit different i've got tails on it <laughs> which I hadn't anticipated. But so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. So there's our kind of nice colours. Now, 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 now. I do want to introduce a, if you like, just, just a couple more colours, like a theme colour. I don't think it's going to be gold, uh, but I'm tempted to put sort of a, like a, an aqua 
or a blue. So I tell you what. Yeah, Lynn, good, good, uh, good idea about the silver. I was tempted to the silver, but I might leave it for this one over here. What do we think, though? I think silver could be quite nice. Hey, I tell you what, let's go for it. Let's do, let's do some silver. Do you know what, Lynn Sutherland? Let's do some silver. I've already got it ready. We are gonna do it. Do it. Just do it. Yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it. Right, but for this, I'm going to get through a lot of gloves this evening. <laughs> right, I'm, I, I'm going so we have got, look, we've got our line. We did it. 61. We got our line of lime. That's quite difficult to say. So I'm just going to bring the rotation down. Oh, this is, this is fun. I like this. And I think we need to go a, str a silver string. Right, that's stopped. Stop. No, stop. Thank you. Uh, so I'm tempting now, rather than dots, I might do a silver string. Now the question is, is where's the string going to go? And I think I need to get the silver string slightly either inside or outside of the orange. And this is going to be the task, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Pris, you're going to be late for an appointment, but you can't, you can't stop watching. You can watch it on the, re on the replay, of course, but you don't want to. You don't want to. No. Right, here we go. I am going to go with a dollar per silver. The silver's going on in Sutherland. Oh, my goodness me. This is going to be nuts. I can't, I can't bear it. I can't bear this. <laughs> Bonnie Fox says it's worth it. Uh, Henry DeHaan says, in the limelight. That's the new name. Right, folks. This is this is a bit make or break now, isn't it? Because there's only one more colour to go after this. Let's get it wound up and see what happens. This is it. This is it. <sighs> And there it is, folks. Got it. 61. 61 is the magic number. <laughs> right over the top. There was the silver. Lynn said we should do it. And we did it. I'm loving that. Right. So down we go. Down we go. Down we... Right down we go. Let's get a few drips on the inside of that silver. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is tense, this is. <laughs> I shall sleep tonight. Right, okay, let's just monitor that. So the silver is pretty much stopped. But that's beautiful. Look even now how we're able to layer the colours up and all the differences we've got between the tiny nuances, the strings going on, and then all of the asteroid belt on the outside. Absolutely looking sensational. Now, I do want to put some white on, but to be honest with you, I don't think I want to put any more currently on this one. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to stop that. Oh, it does stop pretty well. Um, let's test out the handles. Let's get the handles tested. Here we go. Oh, no, I'm going to have to go overhead, mate. Yeah. It works, buddy. It works. Look at that. Happy days. Oh, that's just fell on it. Good. Oh, that's all right. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> that was close, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, hello, Maria. Thank you very much for your very kind words. You're providing inspiration for Maria over in Argentina. Gracias. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Right, okay. That's that's very interesting. So, take that so far. Now, folks, I have to try and line this up for the other side. I'm just about on that racket edge. <laughs> I am. We're, um, I'm happy with the colours on this side. I don't really need to do much. I'm just going to have a look at the edges just for a second. Let's just give that a quick wipe. Okay, just so we don't get any random drips coming anywhere. Of course, these are the things I've got to figure out now, is with the paint that's already on here, and how that impacts on things, especially when I go to the other side. Okay, and of course, you know, over time I can move this in, move it out, I can add to it. I mean, it's just crazy, you could literally, you know, where do you want to go with this? Um, right, from the back, uh, uh, going back towards the top, Hunter Young. Hunter says, uh, looking amazing. Zane's got to go. Kiora, mate. 
Miss Prissy's had to go, of course. Funny Fox is also... Is Funny Fox gone? She said bye. Or he said bye. Uh, Sandy McGill. Callum Schaub spins the canvas, gets an entire different look. That he does. Yeah, but I bet he's never tried this, has he? Um, so we said hello to Lynn. Chris. Hello, Chris. And we said hello to Bob. Anyway, greetings, Bob. Henry, I think we've said. Uh, Funny Fox says explosion in the galaxy. Excellent. Uh, Maria, hello, hello, and who else have we got in as well? Denise Weeks, uh, Videlac C as well, hello, and uh, we've got Opashout YouTube, hello Zusamen. I wish I knew what that meant, but greetings anyway. Uh, uh, the Rita, loves the stringy look, Joseph Spans says neat, uh, good to see you here, and uh, who else have we sent up, said hello to? Shelley Foley Art. Hello, Shelley Foley Art. That's nice of you to join us. Uh, we have also got Jackie Bouvet as well and Nelson. Hola. Uh, oh, and we've got a holiday here. 469 years of the founding of the city of Sao Paulo. Ah, marvellous. Well, congratulations to you. Uh, Upper Schultz said hello. Uh, Bill Moll, hello all. Hello, Bill. Very nice to see you. Kim Dell from his in sunny Florida. And uh, Alan Hillier, good evening to you. Alan Devander Studios and Constantine. Great paintings, hello guys. Uh, Lucia M is also here, as is Eleanor. And Marie, bonjour de France, bonsoir. I uh, think, and Annette, hello, we can't leave you out, can we, Annette? I think have we got to the top. Yes, we have, we're all caught up. And Eugene, hello everybody. <laughs> oh, Lee Archer, hello Lee. Thank you for all your lovely comments on YouTube on the uh, things we've posted this week. All right, folks, it's time to do the other side. Uh, Sly Robo, hello from Dallas, Texas. Hello to you, sir. Right, Sly, any, any relation to uh, Sly Stallone? <laughs> right, let's get the spinomatic kind of set up. Well, as... Sorry, I didn't catch up, buddy. Tomiko. Oh, late again. Sorry, yeah, my, my, I was bending, so my microphone earpiece was cutting out. Now, I'm just trying to get this roughly uh, centred to the point where the piece of mask... Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. This is going to be the offset one. Okay. It's just slightly offset from the other, but it should... <laughs> should. <laughs> uh, give us a nice opposing one. Right. Okay, folks, here we go. <laughs> uh, well, Jackie, thank you for saying it is. It looks awesome. But yes, I'm going to do an opposing one from the other side now. Uh, so here we go. Jeffrey Jenkins and the Oak Park Art League. What's up, guys? We're going on with white. Lovely to see you, by the way. Thank you for being here. Right, here we go. <laughs> We're halfway there, folks. Whew. It's all going well. <laughs> Uh, just purple it, says uh, Henry Duhan. Um I don't know. I think you do want everything purple. Uh, right, okay. Uh, are we ready here, guys? Let's let's do this. Right. Okay. Right, we need to go around this side. Right, got to concentrate. Okay, right. Okay, good. Right, well, we've got our first, we've got our first strings on, haven't we? Look what has happened though in the centre. They've got how on earth has that happened? That's literally gone skadoosh all the way over to the other side. Love it, absolutely love it. That's cool. Uh, right, let's bring the rotation speed down just a little bit. And Funny Fox, thank you, Funny Fox, has given us a donation of four pounds. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah! 
don't forget thank you very much funny folks that's very very kind of you really really do appreciate that now guys remember if you are enjoying this and of course you are because we're all gripped in our screens don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh oh should we do some thumbs up first thumbs up Let's do some thumbs up. Okay, fantastic. Yes, I did tell me thumbs up. That's what we want, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> tells everybody on YouTube you're enjoying this, and it might just recommend it to somebody else who also might enjoy it. So, please, whatever device you're on, give us a nice big thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. Now, I can do my subscribe bit, if you haven't done so already. <laughs> Especially if you're new here. Lots of new faces today. And hit on that big red button that says subscribe. And don't forget to click on your bell icon. And that way you never miss any video at any point in time. It's amazing. And if this is anything to go by, you certainly don't want to miss on, uh, out on any of those. And it's also really, really nice to be able to welcome our patrons here again this evening. Our patrons get early access to all kinds of exclusive content that wouldn't normally be available. And if you want to get it in on that, you need to visit patreon.com forward slash Suarez Art. My colleague Adrian is going to pop a link to that in the chat messages. There's also one down below in the description if you're watching this on catch up or you want to have a scroll through that a little bit later on. Now, of course, our patrons also qualify for an original Suarez work of art, which is a series of 102 tiles, one of which could be winging its way to you very, very soon. All you've got to do is visit our Patreon page and you'll be given details of how you can get hold of yours. They're awesome. They've only ever been done once. There aren't that many left. So there we have it, folks, and all the exclusive stuff. So if you're loving this, you're really going to love that too. Right, I'm talking about loving things. Let's go and see what's happened to the white. Now, as I'm starting to stick everywhere, I think it's important that I get some more paint on. So let's get straight in with the orange. The orange is going to give us a nice little peach effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I, I do I string the orange or no, no, let's let's do a circle of orange. My favourite colour. This is going to get interesting. Right, let's get hold of the remote. Try not to get any paint on it. Here we go. Right, okay. Oh, Funny Fox has got to go. Thank you very much, Funny Fox. Thank you for being here today. And for your generous donation. Uh, Chris says, marvellous. Thank you so much, Chris Amadi. As we start to build this side up with the orange, the orange is going on now. How far out is it going to go? I don't think I've spun it quick enough. We're at 81. 81 RPM. Is that enough? I'm not sure whether it is. Where is it going? Let's spin it a little higher. Let's see if we can catch some of that on the outside. But so far, so good, folks. The spinomatic is working. Right, so I think now I need to, let's, let's add some more actually while we're spinning like that. Let's go in with the lime green. Oh yeah. Right, doing it left-handed. Let's see what happens now. This is where it's going to get interesting. Remember folks, we've got canvas number two coming up, so do not go anywhere. We'll give you a chance to get a drink and a comfort break in about five minutes time. But it's not right yet. I want to see what happens to the line. I'm going to get ready on my remote. Right, let's spin, spin, spin. It's going towards the edges. I can see where is it going. I can't see the line. Come on, where's the line? I saw it before. Now, there's plenty of paint on there. Let's just give it a moment. Because I think we're going to go in with the red next. Red's going to be quite crucial. And I definitely know where I'm going to have to put the red. But for now, I'm trying to see where all that lime has disappeared to. And it seems to have been sucked up into the oblivion. Because I can't see that at all. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Just finished work and logged on to see the Spinomatic make its world debut. Right, let's get the lime on. Come on, lime green. Don't let me down. Where's it going in? So let's move you guys over here so you can see what's going on. Ah, where is it? No, it's literally, I can't see where that is going. It looks like it's just disappearing off. Can't see any lines. So let's reduce that down a bit. Let's see if, if there are going to be any lines. Let's see if I can pull them in a bit. We're going to go in with the red next. Ah, 
Okay, right, that's fine. Let's let's go in with the red while we're, while we're spinning. I'm going to keep the remote in one hand and try and use my left hand to put the paint on. <sighs> Two seconds, everybody. That's not going to work. Remember, <clears throat> not done this, so we are literally now finding out what's going to work and what isn't. We're gearing ourselves up for the big canvas that's currently behind me. So if we can make this work, we can make that work spectacularly well. Great, yeah, <laughs> great suggestion for Rope Park League uh, there to mount it, yeah, on a, on a cart. I think what we could do is we could move, physically move this out of a single spot. <sighs> right, so. Come on, come on, Red, we're looking for you. Where are you? Don't let me down now. Let's let's ramp it up a bit. I'm looking for where the red is. Come on, red. Where's the line forming? Have I got? Can we got a line appearing yet? We haven't, have we? Eighty-six. Where's my line of red? Gonna obviously have to get more more of this on. That's fine. That's fine. Let's get more on. Let's not be afraid. All right. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. We're on that edge, folks. We're on that edge. This is where we operate. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. That's better. I can see something coming off now. Oof. Right, where is it? Where is it? Why is it all coming off on here? Uh... Yeah, there's loads of red gun on, mate. It's all over here. Right, okay. I'm going to have to get tough with this, aren't I? And slow it right down. Come on, I'm determined to get this line of red on. One more shot. Okay. Okay. Right, here we go. There we are. That's it. That's a nice speed. Good. Now <laughs> we've finally got some red coming off. Oh boy, that's the secret then. Just put some more on. Your more on. Right. Okay. So we've got all that red sort of interference thing going on through the centre. That's nice. I like that. We're definitely going to have to get some silver on. I'm also wondering whether to put a drop of black on. You know, that might just like sort of fuse the back and the front together. That's better. That's better. Look, we've got that red. The red's coming in. Okay, I like that. So far, we've got a reposing things going on. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. That's a good rotational speed. I like that. I want to get one more colour at that speed. What are we on again? 56. 56 RPM. Fine. Right, so, uh, time to introduce... Oh, what's it going to be? Come on, Ed, think. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Whoever said uh, magenta, I'm going to put a line of magenta uh, on Henry. Yeah, and I'm very, very tempted to put a light blue on, but I don't want it to unbalance the other side. Oh, this is this is getting tricky now, isn't it? Right, well, that's fine. That's fine. We've, we've got it working. Magenta is coming off, folks. It's coming off. Yes, we've got a line. We've got a line forming. Um, that's good. That's good. All right, let me go around this side. I've got to work quick now. This is... Uh, I've got a limited lifespan with this. That's fine. Yes. Now. Now we're cooking. 
they're starting to look we've got interference over the pair we're wanting to get something right through the middle yes i like that i can definitely definitely you can see that forming now now we're motoring folks i mean i, I suppose the key thing here is is that you know i can return back to this at a point in time and put more on couldn't i what i don't want to do is mess it up but we've got some gorgeous halos appearing here now this is exactly what i wanted different techniques different layering patterns different paint consistencies this is what i wanted but this is what we're getting Well, lots of lovely suggestions coming through. I think there's, there's, it's difficult on this side now because this is the, this shape is starting to take over the other one. So I might actually just have to leave it uh, and come back to it another day. But I mean, that as a technique, I think is absolutely mind blowing. And of course, the other thing is the more paint I put on all at once, the more it's going to morph together. And if I want to start putting layers together, then I think it's important that I give them time in between. Um, black, yes, Bob, definitely. I think black, but black needs to go on the other side. Um, so for now, let's bring it down. The magenta look is mixed with the orange. It started to pull that off. Absolutely love it. Oh, there we go. Just where the gearing is starting to reduce itself. We've, we've got a technique, folks. The technique works. How about that? How about that? I'm very, very, very pleased with that. I'm tempted just to put a little drop of silver on because it's going to bring the two sides together. So the last color is going to be silver. Thank you, all of you. Uh, for your wonderful suggestions i am with the rita yes I, I ideally could put a yellow on but i mean how how do you how far do you keep going with this i mean ultimately <laughs> you just carry on and carry on don't you sooner or later you've got to stop but that magenta's made all the difference looking good absolutely loving that the spinomatic is working brilliantly lady's pulled a blinder we've actually met the center there i'm really happy with that i'm just going to do one last drop of silver just so i feel happier leaving it at this stage doesn't mean to say it's been completely finished uh by any means because as i'm learning now as i'm going along it's also starting to open up all kinds of possibilities in my own brain as well which is pretty nuts so i'm going to do a small amount of silver and we're going to see if i can get some strings sorry insta i know i'm walking in front of you okay come on here we go so far, so good. Let's just see. I'm going to have to spin up fairly quickly. Yes, we've got it through the centre, folks. That's it. That's what I wanted. Just going to tie those two together with some very, very delicate strands. And that is where I'm leaving it. We can always return back to it another night. That is pretty stunning. I'm going to give you a proper look now where everything has kind of formed. I'll give you both a look on it and on YouTube. Let's just get this stopped there. Perfect. Right. Off that needs to come now because we've got the big one here coming, folks. The big one's about to happen. Right. Okay. Hi everybody, just to say, Ed's lost his microphone, he's going to have a fiddle with it, see if he can come it back on. Oh, oh you're on, you're back on. on, yeah, you're back on. Right, sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm full of wires and stuff underneath all this. Okay, right. First one, we're going to get that off. Uh, hope you like it. <laughs> it's a beauty, says Lynn. Uh, how tall is the spinomatic, says Bob? Mm, I don't know. Uh, 18 inches, maybe? Something like that. 18 inches. Maybe. Foot, foot and a bit. Uh, spino magic, Henry. Pretty amazing. Loving it. So different. Thank you. For Adrian, the spinomatic is... Uh, Adi's got lots of uh, flaps from uh, from Tamika and Tracy says exciting. Hello, Tracy. Great to see you here. Right, okay, let's get this out of the way because the first thing I need I need to. Oh, Donna, hello, Donna from South Carolina. 
Well, I'm glad we are amazing you. <laughs> I'll be even more amazed when I've got this out of the way and we can position the next one. I'm going to give you a proper close-up look in just a second. I know aidy has been trying to fill your screens full of all of that. Um, it is, it is. The technique works. Look, we actually have whoop, got it working, which is amazing. That's what we've got so far. A very sort of gentle colour palette of these beautiful opposing arcs. I'm going to try and get this moved. So, see how easy or difficult it is to unpin from the floor. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm taking it nice and steady, folks. Time to catch your breath. Take a breather. Because if you like this, I've got a feeling you're going to love what's about to come. Okay, please ask as many questions as you can. We will attempt to answer as many as possible. Hopefully this is all making some kind of sense to you. But the Spin-O-Matic is working like a dream. Hello V, V you'd late. Yes, back of the Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Tracy. Thank you very much for that. Uh, okay, would you like to have a look? Let's give you a proper look, shall we? Uh yeah, let's go Rome Cam, mate. Rome Cam. Right, let's just park it there a little bit closer. Right. Instagram, I'm going to give you a look in just a second. Let's go and have a look, folks. Let's go see what we've got. So from afar, that was number one. That's number two. Look what effect the magenta has had. And we've hit point on the magenta. I couldn't be happier with that. Uh, let's have a look at the first one. Well, we got our ring of red in the end. But look, look at these, these patterns. Aren't they just gorgeous? This is physics its very best you think of what is going on here to create this i think it's extraordinary this is one of the things we love about doing what we do we started with the white on this side we reduced the uh, spin rate and got some of that beautiful kind of afterglow on the inside and then look we went for it with the red and the magenta which has really defined that center it takes your eye all the way through the middle and then you've got this gorgeous melee in the center where they where these two worlds collide absolutely stunning <laughs> a few silver drops rogue drops appear there i kind of like that as well we got the white applications look completely different to what i expected they do um but that folks is the very very first live halo and what a way to start i think you'll uh really like that uh, yes, Tracy, we do have a mega spin matic Yes, it's our normal spin table. And actually, we can go pretty much to the entire edges of this paint pod uh, just by spinning that bad boy up. Um, so you imagine with just a small footprint on a small spin matic like this, how big the circles are going to get. So you can imagine then with a big spin table. Um, yeah, two, no 2.4 so far. So we can fill this space up quite happily. And I think there's, uh, there's no end to how, how big we can make uh, these halos. <laughs> uh, Tamiko says, stunning. Uh, but he says, it's hard to see from the back of the class. <laughs> I'm tippy toes, you kill me. <laughs> You're funny. Uh, inspired by Laundromatic, says Henry. Could be. Uh, it's alive, says Henry. Charlene, be so beautiful on a wall. A definite centerpiece for a room. Thank you. Well, guys, if you like that, I think you're going to really love this. Now then, how about that? And this is just the base coat. How about that? Now, I'm looking up at the camera. So, Aidy's just going to feed back to where it needs to be in the... So, you've got the shot. So, you tell me, buddy, is that... Is it... Oh, uh... no, there won't, there won't be any splash on the other one, mate. I think... Let's just give it up a bit here, then, if you're... Are you ha happy with that? Okay, so, Aidy's good with that. Let's bring... Got a little bit now of housekeeping just to do, folks. Uh... Uh, yes, Tracy, we can combine different sizes, yeah? We can do big, small, we can make uh, thousands of different shapes on these, yeah? There's literally no end to it. Now, with with, the, with this one, with the Spinomatic, we are actually, uh, Aidy and I, talking about doing some different sizes. Uh, so, sh shrinking down the tops, you know, so we can get some smaller ones, even. Because you can see the kind of 
footprint we've got and how big they do already. So you imagine this on an even smaller scale uh, could be very, very exciting. So I'm just going to clean the top. I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of skadooshing around here. Just get things clean. Okay. Again, even this part, we don't quite know what impact this is going to have. Uh, but I am going to just give this a proprietary once over with some cloths. So this is the point at which, folks, let's get you in the viewfinder there, Instagram. Um, in fact, let's just... Uh, yes, in fact, let's just give you a quick look there, guys. Look, that's what we've just done. Okay, it's the very first time we're using the Suarez spin machine to do these halos. And so far, so good. They're working out really well. That's the one with two opposing lines. Now, this is the one that's going to have the one through the center. That's it, folks. Yes, this is going to be the circle. This is going to be the definitive halo. Uh, we've got a light colored canvas. So we're doing dark on the light. We've gone the opposite way around with the first one. This one. I really should get another another one of these, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, I have got cloth. I'm just going to get rid of the bulk of this and I'll go over it with a cloth. Uh, yeah, so you know, we're going to do a, 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 just a big halo on there. That's going to be really interesting because, again, although I've done an experiment and a test, it's the first time we'll have done it live. Uh, Bob, great question. Can you use acrylic paint with this method? I'm sure you can use any paint with it, Bob. Uh, <clears throat> I personally don't choose acrylics. So I, uh, I don't like what they do, I think they... Can get a bit sort of repetitive and boring, which is why we've always stuck with enamels. They're a nightmare to work with, hence why I look like a spaceman. But uh, I absolutely love them. Wouldn't be without them. Uh, but yeah, yeah. If you if you want to go for it, it, could be very interesting to see what that would come out like. So uh, yeah, if you ever have a go, Bob, send us some pickies. Uh, uh, great question, Jackie. Yeah, we. Uh, Placing the spinomatic in the corners and getting them to meet in the middle. Well, of course, there is, there is, there's another idea, isn't it? it isn't there about, uh, you know, having them all meet, you know, as this great, beautiful cross in the middle. But uh, I, I want to satisfy my single halo curiosity um, by having this complex but quite beautiful background and then going with the dark colours over the top. I want to see what that almost sort of window into another universe is going to look like. So for this one, Jackie, and it's a great question. Uh, this is going to be a single halo, so I've got, got to now try and get this into the center. Um, so we're going <laughs> to see if that's going to work next. Um, Tracy, will I be making spiral spinning machines to sell? Uh, well, you better ask Adi about that. <laughs> no, no, no. That, it's too much of a pain in the backside. It really are. I mean, this is first experimental with this one i've got to alter this like i said i've got to put a different motor in it we don't work with worm drives which is what i put into it because it was the only one i could get at the time i have ordered another one and it's on its way which is a direct drive with a gearbox on the end of the motor itself which hopefully will work a little better but they're quite difficult to um put together because at the moment trying to find parts is not impossible but you never know. You never know. Maybe in the future. Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe. <laughs> right, well, in one one direction, I've got it absolutely spot on. More luck than judgment. <clears throat> Just need to move it that way. A little bit. As long as I've got 78 centimetres all the way around. And we are good. We're good for the second one, folks. Hope you've been and got a nice cup of tea. Because we're about to get ready. And number two. Crucial thing is, got to have this in the right place. Otherwise, we're going to be offset. It's looking pretty good, actually. Oh. Right. Just uh, give me a sec. And I'm taking it to take, just rehydrate just a little bit. Ah, great question, Tracy. Does it have to be level? Um, 
Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the short answer to that is yes and no. The, the, unfortunately, the studio here isn't level, uh, but it does help because as liquid paint tends to settle, it will fall to the point of low, its lowest resistance, which of course is a slope, and gravity affects everything. So you have to be off by a couple of degrees, and it's wallop all over the floor it goes. Not for a spin table, actually applying the paint doesn't make any difference because uh, it's not really not really uh, affected uh, by anything like that, thankfully. Um, but uh, there's, there's another experiment, isn't it? We can, uh, <laughs> we can tilt it on an angle. That's going to have to be done. Sell the schematics, says Jackie. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yes, A.N. Souza. Thank you. Nice to see you here. Rob D. Looking forward to seeing what that happens. Thank you. Uh, AD, make a smaller disc on top and spin multicolours. Yes, well, we intend to, Jackie. This is just the start. Um, Henry says centred. Yes, we are. Right, I just need uh, to take in some water. Just give me a second. Can you just cut my mic a second, please, mate? Thank you, buddy. <clears throat> okay, folks, are we ready? Are we ready to do Spinomatic Take Two? I hope you are. Instagram, let's get you moved over where you can see exactly what's going on. Let's put you right on the corner there. Uh, Fabrizio, hello. And Merluci, Merluci, Mary Lucy, Mary Lucy, to Emily, to Genta. Thank you guys all for being here. Right. Okay, let's just check back in control. Buddy, everything all right where you are? You, you, you good? Right, we're cooking then, folks. We're ready to get going on number two. I wonder if you can guess what the first colour is going to be. We've got about ten seconds to guess. Tracy's ready. <laughs> Eleanor's ready. Artfish42. Oh, Artfish42 has just donated. Thank you so much. 20 bucks. Woohoo! Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. That is enormously kind of you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. That will buy us half a motor for when I burn this one out. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And there you go. So, uh, yes, you can use acrylics, uh, Bob. Shelley's already done it. Just got to uh, water them down a bit and thin them out. Uh, which, of course, it's difficult to do with these. <laughs> Not put water in them, hence we have thinners. Now, the big question is, do I do, I do the stringy one or do I do the spots? I'm going to do the spots. So I need to get myself a line. So let's start with the line. Tracy, Tracy would technically win, win the prize. Uh, if there was one, of course, it's just for fun, because uh, we are, it is black. Okay, right, so, oh, I can reach, mate, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for uh, nominating your colour of choice. Let's at least get it on. Now, don't mind that. A volume going on here because I want this to kind of fill things up all right folks hold on to your breath it's oh yeah hold on to your dangly bits it's about to get very real shall we do it mate shall we spin this up here we go oh do it just do it yesterday you said tomorrow so just do it No, I'm not talking, mate. I'm I'm just sitting here waiting. <laughs> no, we're all right. Yeah, don't have a heart attack. I wasn't I wasn't saying anything. Just having to concentrate. <laughs> I 
so I was just saying... Nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! <laughs> That's a laugh a minute, anyway. Right, okay, folks. Breathe out for a second. We've got our first lot of black on. I'm happy with that. It's still coming off. Let's see if I can find... So, of course, because it's a bigger canvas, I've got to figure out now where my sweet spot is. Oh, right, okay. Silver, silver, silver. There is going to be gold, folks. I promise you there's going to be gold. Right now, let's go with the silver. All right, we can build this up. We don't all have to go completely nuts all at the same time. Right, where's that going? Big speed blobs coming off. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that's interesting. Now, that's hopefully filling up this void. Uh, is it? Is it doing it? Yes, it is. But I think, I think, I think we need a little drop more. That's working out quite nicely. The silver, yes. Let's get some more of that on. And then we're going to drop some gold in. Really having to concentrate. Uh, how do you mean, Tracy, if I had different edging? Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to try that, won't we? Yeah, I can see us making a lot of different tops for these. Right, I tell you what, let's get this right down. Let's see if we can start to fill up some of the interior here. Now, of course, the question is, have I got enough on? Let's have a walk around. This is why another reason why I like painting like this, because you get to walk around the edges. Now there is something has happened over here, which is a little bit of a shame. I'll show you about that in a minute. But I'm not too worried about that because I think we can probably cover that up. Um Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, thank you, Tracy. Right. <clears throat> If I go quiet, I'm, I'm having to think and concentrate. I can't. Do I can't multitask because I'm a man. <laughs> come on, come on, be kind to me. Where's that going? Where's that going? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. That's okay. That's okay. It's defining that edge. That's fine. Yeah, I don't mind that. It's just, uh, oh, it's just getting it's difficult, isn't it? It's tricky. Uh, bonsoir, Chantel. I've right, just opted a little bit. We've got a, we've got the black ring now, which is good. Okay, so we're going to get a secondary one now, building up. That's fine. Let's just let it do what it's going to do. I can see now where we need to put our gold halo, so I'm going to get the gold ready, folks. Uh, thank you, Bob. That's a very nice thing to say. The triangle top. Yes, the Rita. That could be very interesting, yeah. Um, we'll definitely have to try that. We have different edge. Oh, that's yeah, your sweet spot. <laughs> Thanks, V. Uh, right, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's get the gold. Now, the gold, I, I thinned down for painting something else earlier on in the week so this is kind of interesting because i've not used a thinned down paint before so this is going to quite kind of put us in the realms of well i've got no idea what's going to happen and, and i haven't folks i've literally got no idea i've got a rough kind of thought but whether that happens or not i haven't got a clue so we are about to get a little bit on that ragged edge again as if we're not already uh quite familiar with being in that position if i could just find my jibber jabber that gets the paint lids off there we go uh, we'll be in business so we're going to go in with the gold ah we've got a secondary black halo line going on folks this is good this is what we want this is what we want now how much more have i got so i need to increase the speed are there any is there anything coming i need to find out where Got to keep my eye on it now. I want to find out where the gold's going to go. What are we on? 59. Let's go 60. And I can see the black coming off. 
No, let's go down to 58. 58. Right, 58. Here we go. Uh, I'm getting through a lot of gloves, man. We're going on with the gold. I think I know where the gold's going to go. Yeah, thank you, Henry, for your suggestion. The future of freckles. <laughs> right. <clears throat> okay, here we go, folks. Let's go with the gold. Uh, you okay on the shot, mate? Right, okay, here we go. I think. Come on, Ed, concentrate. Don't mess it up now, son. Have I got it? I've got it. I've got it. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. We can we can see that doing the business now, can't we? That's nice. Yeah, I'm digging that. So we're building that up. Now, do we go with an interior one? I've got to judge now, haven't I, just where it's going to go. Right, let's get that right down, because that's enough on that side. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, be good to me. Where is it? Come on, start dribbling. Yeah, you're right. 80 texts in my ear. Not sure if there's enough volume of paint on it to do that. But that's okay. We can see now to drop more. So let's do that because I'd quite like to get an inner gold as well. I think that could look really, really, really cool. So let's just get some of that on and see what happens. I don't want to put too much on. This is where we've really got to be careful on the volumes. Let's get a thin line on. Best thing we can be now is consistent. Uh, hi, Laurie. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, it could look very good over uh, crackle paste. Uh, never really used that, actually. Um, but yeah, oh, we may have done in the past a very, very long time ago. Right, come on, gold. Come on, we're waiting for you. Are you going to come off it? Might have to be, <laughs> dare I say, it, a little bit faster to force it to the edges. When 24. Ah, there we go. Is that is that just starting now? We've got a few. We've got a few coming off. I think patience is the key here. Let's see if we can establish a line. Might be quite tricky to do. That outer line, though, is looking fantastic. And then I'm thinking, how do we... Do we get some of those uh, amazing kind of uh, spirals, you know, kind of strings going on? So I think we might have to do a couple of black ones. Black... Uh, versions of that ah uh, we're just it's just coming off mate just start to come off there we go it's just starting to come to the edge of course we're at a slower rotational speed of course it's going to take longer for what i've just put on to come to the edges so this is just a little bit of patience a little bit of waiting game while that happens i've just got to think about what i put on next and i'm tempted to put a turquoise on just to try and tie the two layers together it's very tricky to know now isn't it Ah, right, Insta, you're being very, very uh, patient there. So let's give you some close-ups. Tell you what's going. See what you can see going on. So we can see the spin table going around there. Now we're just starting to get on the inside. You can just see there a few little spots starting to appear on the innermost gold circle. They're just starting to come in, uh, which is important. So we'll let that come off as soon as I, I see that really stopping. Uh, we'll go then for the black. But you can see what's happening now with all these. Beautiful radial interference patterns starting to happen around the outside. Um, so that's very, a very unusual thing, but a lovely, lovely thing that's happening now. I'm very, very interested by that. So we're going to give everybody watching on YouTube a little look in just a second. So this is what the halos are doing, folks. This is, this is, oh, okay. That's, that's not the best. Hello, gimbal. Oh, now we're looking at the floor. Sorry, Instagram. Just trying to, uh, <laughs> it's got, oh, no. Come on, Instagram. What's going on with my... There we go. Yeah, Suarez Blue from Lynn Sutherland. I've actually got the blue ready uh, to go on. Uh, so I am actually thinking that that's the way we go. And I'm tempted to do, actually, instead of the black, to do the... Uh, if I can get those... What's the word I'm looking for? 
The strings, yeah, the strings. Let's give a look on Rome Cam. So while the goal just finishes itself off, yeah, I think definitely, Lynn, we might have to go might have to go for a drop of the old uh, Suarez blue. Well, look, we're, we're starting to get something on the inside now. Look at the layers now and the rings starting to appear. Oh, look what's happened then as we get towards the outside. We've got these very unusual mixtures. Look at that, of black and silver. And this is where the black went on first. Silver was the second paint. It's all going on on the outside. And suddenly we hit all of these, one, this like asteroid belt of that shimmering gold, which has also picked black up as well. It's one of the reasons I put the black on first, because I knew that it would start mixing with everything else that went on top of it. Um, that is looking pretty awesome. The Spinomatic is doing a fantastic job at 26 RPM. And there we go, going round and round as we come round here, look. As you can see, those halos really starting to, to form. We've now got a very delicate blob of gold going around that centre. So I think that's excellent. That, that really is nice. That's just defining that centre, almost like a mini stone henge. I quite like that. So now we're going to make that decision. Is Suarez blue going on? And do you know what, folks? I think... I think if we're, if we're going to do it, we should absolutely go for it. Uh, so, with that in mind, um, it's beautiful with the gold. Thank you, Tracy. Just fabulous. Needs turquoise shade or purple. Well, I don't think there'll be any purple tonight. Um, Tomiko's enjoying herself. A small glass of red wine. Excellent. So, the faster, is that the strings? No. Actually, um, I'm probably going to stop it in just a second. No, the strings will come, uh, Tracy, from just a single uh, blob. So you can see on here where we've had the single blobs on the top. I'm just going to do that, and hopefully that should give us the strings. Now, I'll give you the caveat to that. This entirely depends on paint consistency. I think we've got the right consistency in the Suarez Blue, because it's the end of the tin. There isn't a lot of it, and there's been plenty of air trapped in that, so it's quite thick. So I think we are going to get some strings now. And this is really, I think, folks... And I'm not trying to be too dramatic. Um, I think this is the make or break. But I think you're right. This blue is going to look absolutely epic. So. Let's uh, spin that all the way down. Let's just click stop. Uh, so far, uh, it's working well. It's working well, mate. Your machine is brilliant. So I think props to Avi. Let's, let's give him some nice thumbs up in the comments, folks. <laughs> if you think the man's done a good job, because I think he has. I think he's done an awesome job this week. Folks, let's show a bit of appreciation in the comments, right? Hey, shall we? Well, I'll put the Suarez blue on. Okay, mate, right. I'm not going to get a lot of... Another... Oh, Carl! Hello, Carl! Thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying it. Right. This is, this is it. This really is make or break now, guys. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, here we go, here we go. Up it goes. It's got it's got to go. It's got to go quick, hasn't it? It's got to go off the edge. Oh, right. Right, we've got only on this side. We have got a little bit. Okay, so this is quite subtle. It's not as much as I thought it would be. Um, but then I haven't got a lot of paint, so <laughs> that's all right. Let's slow that down. Let's give it a slow. Come on, you could slow down. Yeah, as AD said in my ears, learning, I should have put a spot on both sides, shouldn't I, really? <laughs> yeah. You're right, Rita, yeah. Okay, well, you can see it, just not a lot of it. Okay. So, if that's okay, we're going to get a few drop on the on the inner. And that's all right. Okay, right. <laughs> see, I told you it was an experiment. Uh, <laughs> oh, blimey. Right, okay. Okay, let's just think a second. Think, 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 Ed. Think. What are you going to do? Right, I've got one final suggestion. 
one final suggestion we're going to we're going to do that we're going to do opposing on the blue i've got one other blue to use which i think will look quite nice and then that's going to be it i don't think there's any more after that i need to get it around right around the outside so let's see if we can do that uh, i've got i've got to do it haven't i otherwise i'm going to go home unhappy that i haven't tried it ah uh. Uh, creative girl homestead hello art by suarez and chat hello creative girl homestead uh oh and that's giving us some thumbs up as well thank you very much uh right okay do it do it <laughs> okay uh, i need my paint thing gotta to, got to move fairly quickly you know right so if i'm a little bit silent folks i'm think it's because i'm thinking Oh, what did Jackie say? Uh, leave it as is in the dry. Put a gold leaf sun in the centre. Interesting. Yeah. I shall bear that in mind. But for now, I think the blue's got to go in the middle. Oh, I just can't see my paint can opener. Which gets really, really frustrating because it just, look, it just blends into the desk. It doesn't matter what colour I try and put on it. I can never see. Ah. Yeah. That's what I need. Yeah, I need an expanding keychain, like one of those spring things that I keep just attaches in one place. Right, okay. Right, so here we go, folks. Stop. No, are you going to stop? Oh, it has. Right. Oh. Ah, so I was looking at the laptop like an idiot. Right, we're going to go two opposing directions here now, guys. See if we can get some blue on, all right? Great idea from the Rita. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> I've got to try and hit the right speed. Uh, right, run. Strike 64. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. Yes, just see that coming off. Yeah, I like that. That's given it a nice little uh, little addition. Yes, that's softened it beautifully. Oh, yes, fabulous. Right, we'll just let that naturally come off now. Do I do it a bit quicker or a bit small? A bit no. Let's just drop it down and get some on the inside. Yeah, that's plenty on the outside. Tempting, isn't it, to go for some white somewhere? Ah, oh, the thing is, is now when do you stop? When do you stop? Could I get a, a line of white on the inside? May, maybe another day. I think that's probably enough. Let's let's pull it down. The blue's looking really, really, really nice. I'll try and pull it down a bit because we're going to let this go. And add some, some really nice effects just by that gold. Hopefully there's enough left on it. Crazy things happening down here now. Oh, yeah, what a great idea from the Rita. Thank you, Rita. Yeah, do a spin painting on the spin machine and then put this on the top and, uh, yeah, finish it off with all the dots, the halo dots. Oh, do you know what? You guys are amazing. It's literally, there's just so many things you can do. We just need the time to be able to do it. Uh, Eleanor says, what about some special sauce on the blue? Good idea, Eleanor, but I think for tonight that might start and morph it into something that I'm going to lose the dots, so maybe another night. Uh, Maria, hello from Portugal. Hello, nice to see you. Right, I know we're uh, we're quite over now. Uh, well, not over on time, but we're having some fun here tonight, aren't we? Now, I think we're just going to get a few of those blue dots on the inside, and that's fine. We can leave that. Uh, would you like to have a a look? I think we're going to leave that for tonight now, folks. Let's have a look on the Rome cam. All right, uh, Insta. I'm going to give you a proper look in just a second, but uh, where's the top? Looking a bit worse for wear, but look at what's going on here now. Look at what we did with the blue. We've got the Suarez blue going into the light sky blue. We managed to look just around that centre to get that addition of blue just popped in in between the black. So that's worked out well. That gold line is absolutely mind blowing. Then we've got the, the bits and pieces around the outside. We managed to get the gold, remember, and now we're just starting to build up the blue, which is fantastic. I'm really happy with that. 
You can see already, look, the black, even though it's formed in droplets, where there has been a bigger volume of paint, it's all starting to morph into each other. So this is definitely the time to stop with this one this evening. But I think you'll agree, folks, that looks pretty awesome. And I do hope you'll give us a nice, big, juicy lot of thumbs up because we worked incredibly hard, not just to bring you the Suarez Spinomatic, but also to conceptualize, think about, practice with, and bring to you a broadcast based on an idea that I had just after Christmas. And here it is in all its glory. It's the first of many. It's the experiment. It's the one that could have gone terribly wrong, but has actually gone incredibly well. Look where we started tonight. It's held its shape amazingly well. There is nothing wrong with that at all. I'm in love with it. It's fantastic. I can imagine some, some yellow intersections going over that. Can you imagine that? Or some rocket red? Oh, goodness me. I mean, where do you stop with this technique? But look, we've actually captured paint that comes off a, a rotating surface. Tell me where else you've seen that. Because I think that looks pretty amazing. And uh, of course, we'll be showing our patrons first. And probably Friday on what's going on. We will post some photos of this on social media during next week. We would love to know what you think now. Now we've actually got something where we didn't have it before. I think it's a beautiful and effortless and very, very ephemeral painting. That something very unusual, with a very unusual technique. And you've seen it here first before anybody else has. So we do hope that we'll share this amongst your friends and your timelines and your socials. Tell everybody how much of a, on that cutting edge we like to live. But this is it, folks. We have to explore, don't we? We have to find out what we're capable of. And the only way of doing that is actually just get in there, get in there and have a go. Instagram. We've got some beautiful effects starting to come out now. I'd probably play around with the base coat, actually, and change that up for the next one. But it'd be interesting to see how this looks, especially when it's all dry. Whether it then needs any further halos going on. I think a white one might look quite nice. I don't know. I think those decisions will have to come as it's dried. Mm. But I think that is looking pretty, pretty extraordinary. Do let me know what you think in the comments. Let's just have one final look at those. Uh, Jackie loves a spinomatic. So does Charlene. Gold just beams off the canvas. Thank you, Kerry Ann. Hello, Kerry Ann. Uh, definitely in the zone, says Jackie. Nice, says Tomiko. Thank you. Katrina uh, Ogilvy. Gorgeous. Well done. Much better than a mop halo. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've seen the artists that do it with a mop as well. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan. If I'm honest. So thank you, Katrina. That doesn't mean an awful lot. Uh, Lynn loves the first one. Hola, outra Portuguese. Uh, estamos sempre presentes. Gracias, Maria. Uh, Alan Hiller. Wow, how important was getting the machine dead center of the canvas? It was. It was. Wasn't it, Alan? Very, very important. Thank you, V. That's very good. Uh, right. Well, folks, have you enjoyed it? I hope there's a big and resounding yes. Uh, Guess what? Guess what we're going to be doing next week, actually? I don't know. Might be Halo, might be something completely different. We might just be doing something different with the spin machine. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But I think that whatever happens, I think you'll agree that tonight has been a resounding success. I'm giving me and Aidy a big thumbs up for a technique that works, for a spin machine that's done exactly what we wanted it to do, even though the motor wasn't working two hours before we were broadcasting. And what we've got is two fantastic and incredible paintings that's it for tonight folks thank you so much for watching if you've been here from the start well done you gold star if you joined midway or even at the end thank you for being here we really appreciate you being part of the suarez family and don't forget to go treat yourself to a little bit of suarez merch we got everything 260 odd products are on there now Aidy's going to pop that on the screen for you and a link to that in the chat if you love this as much as we do but don't have the space to stick it on your wall wherever you are in the world you can go and enjoy your own little bit of it by choosing one of our amazing products from the lifestyle store everything from cushion covers to rugs from sports and active and gym wear all the way through to jigsaw puzzles how unbelievable is that a little bit of suarez magic in your world every single day of the week okay folks just leaves me to say thank you so much for watching us this evening on behalf of Adi and myself and we wish you a great week ahead and wherever you are whoever you're with and whatever you're doing please stay safe because we want you right back here in seven days time but officially when the big man and myself that's us done for one evening thank you so much for watching 
and we'll see you next time. Good evening. Thank you.